This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway, supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni and pizza. Production services by Sidekick Media Services. And listeners like you supporting us at patreon.com slash awesomecast. Hey guys, welcome to a special edition of AwesomeCast. Special as in I have no microphones, we're using AirPods, and we're in a hotel in Fort Worth, Texas with Katie. Daughters, daughters, <laughs> daughters. Hi. Um, and we want to do, uh, uh, at least, uh, you know, a, 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 a film episode this week. So, um, here we are. And, um, uh, we want to talk about Mario world or Mario super Nintendo land. Jeez, I keep messing it up. Uh, and the Mario land and Mario Kart and everything out there in, in uh, universal Hollywood. Since Katie wasn't on the show last week. I thought it was better to do this, uh, uh like this, like not like on a, the edge of a bed in a hotel. I, I, I forgot there was only one seat in half of these. We've had like a couch in recent ones, right? Yeah, uh-huh. So I'm just like, oh, this will be great. And then we're like at the one that has all this cavernous space, apparently. And no furniture. And, and no furniture. I mean, I guess I can I can show you. Like, like there's so much room for nothing in here. Um, but anyways, hopefully I put that camera back where it needs to be. Um, I am so impressed. <laughs> there you go. Uh, and we're going to con- talk about Bucky's. And we're recording on our phones. <laughs> um we're, we're gonna see if this works too so we're gonna see can you do a double ender with headphones in in the same room i am enjoying watching uh like how my volume level looks on your phone and your volume level oh looks yeah that's, my gonna, phone. that's gonna like... mix well later um <laughs> especially if i have a sync problem but anyways um so i guess first Ni- super nintendo land world super nintendo world in the universe Studi- universal studios in hollywood california we just woke up like an hour ago uh <laughs> And the coffee was soft. It was uh, so soft. So we didn't really, we should have some of those ciders from the other night. Um, so, Katie, how did you get me to Super Nintendo Land? Is this Super Mar- Mario World? Yes. Yeah, I keep saying Super Nintendo Land. No, it's Super, yeah, Super Nintendo World. Damn it. <laughs> Dilly See, Mario right now. Maybe it's, it'll, maybe it'll go It's going to be more. Nintendo. California's getting more. Or not California. Uh, uh, Japan's got a Donkey Kong thing coming. So. Yeah. So that determines, we're like, why isn't it just Mario World? I was like, well, there's more to Nintendo than, <laughs> than maybe we'll have a Zelda. Maybe we'll have a Snow Bros section. I don't know. Maybe we'll have a, a Wrecking Crew section. Maybe we'll have a, a, a Punch-Out section. That would hurt. Um, but, you know, something <laughs> like that. So, <laughs> Well, you need coffee. Yeah. That's um, but anyways, so how did you get me the Super Nintendo World? I'm done. <laughs> I did it. Is there, isn't Mario in the title? No. It's, it's Super Nintendo World. Mario Land is part of it. Got it. Okay. That's why I'm here confusing it's me. It's segmented. It's like, super, it's like Disney World and Galaxy's Edge is part of it and Epcot. <laughs> <laughs> right? Are you, I, like, are you checking uh, yes, on this? Um, yes. I'm checking us out. You, 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 it's Super Nintendo. Like, why, why do you have the 93 Mario Brothers movie coming up? Super Nintendo, Super Nintendo World. World. No, it is. Yes. Ride Mario Kart Bowser's Challenge. Oh, yes. yeah. So it is yes. Super Nintendo World. Yeah. That's so you're, you're, you're good. Oh, you know why? Because all the search, search, the search things come up as Super Nintendo or Super Mario World. Oh, yeah? Okay. Yeah. Well, anyways. Hi. Keywords. Oh, dude, put that recorder back on because it's going to freak me out. <laughs> <laughs> it is. <laughs> um, anyway, so, so how did we get there? <laughs> we got there. Um, essentially, uh, my niece and nephew have been watching videos of Super Nintendo World in Japan for I don't even know how long. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, well, since before they opened, and uh, they've been getting hyped about it, and then they watch walkthroughs once it opened. And um, uh, so, like, I've been very aware of Super Nintendo World for a very long time. And uh, yeah, so we happen to, well, you happen to be going to uh, Los Angeles for mania week wrestlemania and which has now become a thing that i do regardless of what's going on so yeah it's become my my thing but i get work out there you know it works it works out and uh yeah so we got you guys were going and then you're like you should go to wrestlemania and i was like i don't know and then i finally went along and it was amazing by Mm -hmm. the way Mm -hmm. and uh well we were out there we 
we didn't realize how close we were to Universal Studios. Um, and I planned a couple extra days afterwards to do not wrestling stuff since I've been doing it for like four or five days straight. So, and yeah, and I, I was like, oh, we're out here. Let's do Super Nintendo World. And yeah, it was like, why not? I'm completely oblivious that this thing opened like a month before uh practically and i'm like why is it so busy you know uh, you know and, and we're the day before the mario movie came out um and it was uh well we got there about a half an hour after gates opened for the park and they have a virtual ticket system that you have to be on the park grounds to get into <laughs> right yeah so you can either pay um with super nintendo world you can either pay 20 extra dollars and then arrive an hour before the park opens and with that that has a limited amount per mm-hmm. day so you like if you're planning on doing that do that in advance um like as soon as you book your tickets because they were sold out um for the whole upcoming week i believe when i bought tickets and um uh but yeah they they do it similar to being on site with like a disney park app where you have to be on site <clears throat> to actually uh for galaxy's edge was a similar thing where you had to be mm-hmm. on premises to check in and get a time slot to enter the park jeez and what they they were gone by early afternoon was it early morning or uh, late morning early afternoon? i think it was at least like like we were hearing rumblings about or i think around like one o'clock that people were not getting in anymore um so and already like by the time we got in there we had the eleven twenty slot yeah and already the toadstool cafe was booked up um, which is another thing that you have to do on site with reservations yeah, which is a slight problem because there's no other food Mm-mm when you get into Nintendo land world. Um, and I think you have to set another virtual ticket to come back. Yeah. So, uh, so plan accordingly. Yeah. (laughs) And we spent five hours in this space. Uh, they did have, they did have drink vendors up there at the very least. So Mm -hmm. there was that, but we were getting a little like, you know, Oh boy, we, we should probably leave soon. Um, kind of situation. So, um, we was very busy. It was to be expected oh, at that point. Um, kids running out everywhere, climbing on mushrooms, uh, <laughs> yeah, <all the> things. <laughs> punching blocks, you know, the wrong way. Um, and I had them last week I showed on the show, but we got the wrist bracelets. Uh, I got the Yoshi, you got the Mario. Mario and uh, you connect that to the uh, Universal Hollywood app, and there's a Nintendo uh, World section on there that it it's corresponds with. Yeah, it's a sub app basically that loads into, uh, and it shows all the little things in the world that have interaction interaction points. Um, and it's like it's 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 weird. It's like it's not as big as you think it is, but it's huge. <laughs> it's, it's very vertical. Mm-hmm. Um, it, it it's built up around you, so you're inside this thing, and you don't get to see much else of the park. Um, and that was very very cool. And they had these mini games. And this whole concept of you have to get the the keys from the mini games to to fight Bowser Jr. as the boss, um, and it's stuff like uh, five people go in and there's these clocks and you're trying to not wake up the piranha plant, right? Yeah, yeah. I got a, a team certification. Apparently, knocked me out. Well, that's fun. Yeah. Just hit record again. Yeah, sorry. We'll figure it out. At least we just saw it. Yeah, sorry. The team notification knocked me out. We'll hey, check we learned. We'll check in post. Plus, I think that may just be using one of these. Um, anyways. Um, do not disturb. Yeah, we learned a thing. Put an airplane mode there. Um, so, <laughs> anyways. There we are. Um... But yeah, so I mean, there's stuff like that. There was like a crank to knock the Goomba off. There's the shell thing that I thought I completely had, and Katie did, and I just biffed it. Yeah. Uh, and everything's got a line because it's so busy in there. So you're waiting a little bit for this, but yeah, which is fine because there's plenty to see and do. And there's blocks. Sometimes there were blocks for us to hit in the world that we couldn't get to until we got into the line for the Piranha Plant game. So yeah. <laughs> there's a th- a thwomp uh, a cave where uh, there's like a touchscreen block switch uh, kind of kind of game. Uh, you know that 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 was in the I don't know the, the final Bowser game is a really cool kind of interactive um, 
mapping your movement. Yeah, like you see your shadow and you're jumping and there's like, you know, bombs and stuff coming down at you. But then like, like your shadow will shrink when you get hit <laughs> and then grow. And when you jump, you fly up on the screen and you're all lined up there and everything like that. And they're like, make sure nothing falls out of your pockets because you will break my game. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> so, and that's where we saw Kevin Owens. Yeah. He was yeah. lined up behind us. Yep. So, of course, it was the day after uh, uh, Monday Night Raw. So, all the wrestlers were done for the weekend. So, I guess a couple of them got their uh, their VIP tours of <laughs> Mario World. So, I know Johnny Gargano was was, uh, mm-hmm. was on Twitter, was around. So, uh, we're like, why haven't we seen them? I was like, oh, of course, they're getting stuck around. They're not going to be in the crowd. Yeah. You know, that's going to be a problem. Especially since, as you see, the people next to us were like, oh, let's wait for them to come out. And they're like, hanging by the entrance. Yeah, yeah. I was like... Man, no, you're not going to see Johnny or yeah. uh, Kevin Owens. You're yeah. not going to see Kevin Owens, bro. No. Um, so, uh, uh, Mario, uh, so, so, uh, you have anything to say about the, 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 the mini game situation there, which is most of the world? Yeah. Most of the world is in the mini games. Um, uh, it's, I think the map was kind of daunting in the beginning when we mm. saw all the mini games and, um, all the coins to collect. But like, yeah. I think as we started, like, like as you said, like when we were wrapping in lines and stuff, you were hitting a lot of these things and marking them off. We're like, oh, we're doing much better than we thought. I um, need to go over here and get a couple blocks of that. Yeah. Then, then you get upstairs. addicted to what yeah, you're doing. Yeah. <laughs> Huh? Like, then we went like we wanted to like we didn't we went into this going we're not doing all of this yeah yeah like this is too much we're gonna have to come back sometime and do it but it's like if you like a good four or five hours with with a crowd yeah you're mm-hmm. you're gonna do everything once you know you're gonna want to you know it like, kind of gets you into it so mm-hmm. i love the gamification of the entire world oh, yeah. you know it's really really cool um and 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 then the, the the mario kart i really wish because even the mario kart has some gamification to it mm-hmm. where this visor you're in a cart. It's moving. There's a lot of practicals going on um, around you, but then you have this visor that actually has the carts and stuff, and you're moving and you're shooting the way you look. So it's like a, it's a, it's kind of a small Mario Kart game built in. And there's points, and it goes and that goes into the app too, because it's if you you know hit your RFID to it, it, it all goes in. It's only app, and there's a leaderboard. Every mm-hmm. hour, there's a leaderboard. Mm-hmm. Like the, the, all the Yoshi people are getting points and bumping up on the leaderboard. And the Bowser's and the, not the Bowser's, but the I don't think it's a Bowser band. Uh, Mario's and Luigi's Toads. and Peaches and Toads, you know. And it's always like, yeah, yeah, uh, uh, Luigi's been 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 uh, 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 top for the last three hours, <laughs> something like that. But uh, but it was very cool. Like I know. I think I told you, like, I was, I was like, I want to play the game, but I also just want to look at all the practicals going on around yeah. you when mm-hmm. you're going through that thing, you know? Um, but yeah, that was a really cool, and it, and it took a while, and, and you have the hot tip of single rider lines. Yeah. There's always the opportunity to do, well, with, with most of these rides, especially like at Disney or Universal, there's the option for the single rider line. And with that, you are, um, you, you wait in line with a bunch of things. So you, there's a chance that you may get to go with your friend or whoever you're with, but most likely you'll go by yourself when they need to fill a spot, uh, when they have an odd number on these rides. Yep. And, uh, so it was a separate line, took us kind of a different direction through the, um, the castle. And, um, but yeah, and that was the thing you're, you're going through Bowser's castle yeah. mm-hmm. on this thing on the way in for the, because it's, it's Bowser's challenge is Mario Kart. Mm-hmm. So yeah. Yeah, it was like I, I was expecting more in Bowser's Castle. Like, oh yeah, get more movements of things. There was a point where it was like, oh, this is a lo- bunch of lines, which was hilarious to see because we all have these like red visors on that have the Mario, you know, the M on the the visor, and it was hilarious to see because it was just one big room of line, and then there were some things up on the wall, but that was it. Like I was mm-hmm. excited, I don't know. like I felt it was like, oh, you got to put all this work into like making all this, and then it was like, okay. It's fine. It's just a line. It's like, no, mm-hmm. just a little bit more. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But there, yeah. So but outside was cool because the line was outside for a while. And then you got to see it, and oversee the land. And underneath, like, the entrance to Bowser's Castle mm-hmm. and everything like that, if you were in the, the main line going back and forth. It's very, very cool. Uh, like, I love the aesthetic. And it was just really, like, wow, this video game's coming to life, mm-hmm. you know, for, for a lot of this stuff. You know, it's it's just wild from back in the day <laughs> playing the original uh you know the original uh uh super mario 
Um, it was just, it, it was just a little kid was just dancing in joy all freaking day, mm -hmm. um, on these things. And then, you know, there's, there's us, you know, 40 something year old kids and then like, then the little kids, you know, and then Mario and Peach will come out and with fanfare and the music will play, you know, and they seem to wrap them every half an hour. Yeah. I think they're switching actors or something like Probably. that, but they were like, and I don't know, I haven't seen like, you know, the, the Disney mascots, but like the mouse were moving and, and, and they would do a pose and go, Yahoo. And, you know, and all that kind of stuff. And like, I know, you know, it was it was very cool, and the eyes were moving. It was and... very much like the uh, Lego uh, Mario collection, where the super, the like with Mario, Luigi, and Peach, where the eyes kind of do that same kind of blink, mm -hmm. where it's like the digital. Beep, beep. It was very very cool. Um, uh, highly 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 recommend it. And again, I'd never been to a Universal or Disney before, uh, something on that level. Um, I thought it was going to be. Uh, uh, overwhelming. That's why I needed uh, a safety Katie to come with me because she's like a veteran of these things. Because I'm like, I, I'm just so afraid I'm not going to get like the worth out of it for the day. Um, I think we liked that because it was like, it was a little cooler day mm -hmm. in LA and, and, but not terrible. And she wouldn't want to go. Um, and we did most everything I think we would want to do. Mm -hmm. We didn't do any illumination stuff, the, the minions or pets or, uh, anything. We just kind of walked through at the end of the day, but we did do like the Harry Potter inside ride. And a lot of, it was like almost all inside rides, mm -hmm. you know, it was all like the experience rides. It was the, the Transformers 3D ride, you know, the mummy ride we didn't get to do. Uh, we did the boat, the yes. Jurassic World boat <laughs> when it was like 50 <laughs> degrees out. And we're like, how wet are we going to get? You know, <laughs> yeah. um, wasn't that too was, bad, thankfully. <laughs> but geez, like the giant dinosaurs and everything is just the, the animatronics on these things. And, you know, the, the, you're in a thing that throws you in front of a screen. You know, and Optimus Prime's jumping in your face and talking to you, you know, and then the Harry Potter's talking to you, and then you get thrown in front of a Dementor, you know, when your feet are hanging and all this crazy rig situation. Like, it's really cool. Um, and again, it looks like, like just from looking at it, it looks like Florida's more thrill rides, you know, more roller coasters and things like that. But this is, this is, this is a nice, like, like if you're in Hollywood, like it's a, it's, it's a nice go for the most part. Like, I think the only really thing I did, that we didn't do that I wanted to do for sure was like the, the Simpsons ride because there's yeah. no single rider lines. It was way too long. We did the studio tour ride. That was fun. That it was, was way fun. cooler than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, they got these, uh, uh, the Kong, th King Kong 3D, 360. Yeah. And um, the Fast and the Kong Furious uh, 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 ride, ride, whatever. It's like, you're, you're on the studio tour in the, in the thing and they pull you into this like tube garage thing <laughs> and just got video screens and they do some stuff. Um, and <laughs> it's just interesting how that's kind of evolved from like, and, and they still have the shark that jumps out of the water. Yes. So appreciate nice. that. So anything else from Universal Mario Land? worth mentioning I'm trying to think no i can't think of anything else offhand no that was pretty cool worthwhile mm -hmm. i i was really it was like a it's like a 150 dollar ticket i'm like oh, i just got worth it it was no it was worth it It was very cool be mm -hmm. ready to spend some money the bands were 40 dollars. yeah um even walking through i'm not a terribly big harry potter fan i'm not excited to go to harry potter land or anything like that um but man like you you pointed out like the we were watching the kids with the wands mm -hmm. and you know, the fact that the wand needs to move, say a thing in order for the thing to in the window to to go off. Like the, the parent was like helping, yep. you know, the kid figure everything out. Like that was really fun. That was really cool uh, to, to see that in action, you know, and just how immersive it's just like that little area is, you know, and it's not a big area. Like none of them are big spaces, mm -hmm. but it's still like, like that's a very cool, like, like section. I mean, is that like Disney's like, Hey, here's a section over here. It's, it's about that size kind of thing. I felt like Diagon Alley was larger in uh universal Disney or okay. universal Florida. Like I felt, it felt larger. Like if I, I don't know if the way it was set up, but the buildings were, I know the buildings were taller because you felt like you were really in these spaces, mm -hmm. but I feel like it was larger than what we saw. But like the, that footprint of, oh gosh, I can't remember the indoor one we did, um, of that ride is, is huge. Of the Harry Potter ride? Yeah. Yeah, it was the flight. Uh, no, the flight of the Gryffindor Thors was the roller coaster. Yeah. This was, oh, geez, I can't remember what this one it had was. had Dementors on it. it had Dementors on it. <laughs> and Harry Potter is like playing Quidditch and stuff. And, uh, you know, that, <laughs> that thing. Uh, you maybe have Butterbeer. Yes, that was 
and we had the giant donut from uh, uh, Fat Fat Lads. Yeah, in, in Simpsons. Uh, so, so we had the whole experience. Um, and since I'm wearing it, Bucky's is yeah. the experience you had out here in Fort Worth for the first time. First time at Bucky's. I've been to like four years ago. I went to a Bucky's. I was just absolutely overwhelmed by it. What is a Bucky's? Bucky's is uh, what was a Cracker Barrel has a baby with uh what was it? She's, she's and then i we can't figure out the third retail location um uh, <laughs> oh no we figured it out it was um it was the cracker barrel sheets and one of those like surf shops that you go when you're um like at ocean city where like <laughs> all of the merch is kind of like <laughs> a similar theme yeah <laughs> Uh-huh, uh-huh. And, and just a little bit of Cabela's in the corner. Yeah, yeah, get that little Cabela's. Yeah, a little bit of Cabela's in the corner. <laughs> bass, bass, uh, pro Bass Shop or whatever that is. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, it is a wonderland of food and merchandise. Yeah. So, um, you, you, there was a whole corner of just Bucky's merchandise I know you were excited about. Yeah, it was wild. Like how much stuff they had just had Bucky's logos on. And it was really inexpensive, which I was. $23 for this hoodie. Yeah. Like, you know, it was, it was nuts. The food. It was good. We had brisket. Mm-hmm. We had brisket sandwiches. No apple pies. Those are amazing. I've eaten like a thousand of those. Yes, it was. Yes, dangerous. Uh, yeah. Uh, we've been. Uh, they had the the roasted nuts and almonds. We've been snacking on in the car all week. Mm-hmm. Uh, thankfully, we went like the first, uh, well, the second night ish um, uh, here. Um, so it was. Uh, it was. It, yeah. No, it was pretty. It was pretty wild. It, it just and they have everything, and they have so many pumps. Yeah. And and then I see no trucks. <laughs> yeah. <that's> a <laughs> sign coming in. Um, and this wasn't even the largest one. We were looking online and like the largest one is, did I say it was like 60,000 square feet or something? 60 some thousand, like 63,000 square feet. You said like a hundred and some pumps. Um, and it's only about, it's only three hours away from where we're at right now. Yeah, maybe next time. Only. Only. Mm-hmm. So there's that. Um, yeah. Yeah. So, God, Bucky's. Uh, I don't know what else to say about. It. Like, it's got everything. Like, you got chocolates, you got mints. Yeah, we got presents the, the for, tins for people cute. back home. Yeah. Um. Uh. I got I got Bucky's swim trunks because I I needed some for the pool here. Uh. <laughs> so, um. There were Bucky's undies. I think we saw. Yeah. We have a little Bucky, Bucky guy that was a uh, uh traveling around the arrow arrow design day on saturday uh that uh that, that hopefully we're gonna maybe do some stuff with them with um so uh it was it was a lot of fun it's it's if you get out here it was like it's like an hour drive from where we're at because we're south of uh of, of fort worth and it's north of uh so but it, go out of your way just to see the spectacle of this thing it yeah. just goes on forever uh so and even today i put this i put this on we're in Fort Worth. Bucky's is a thing here. You know, yeah. it's not like, oh, you went to Bucky's in God knows where because we're in Pennsylvania. It's like I uh, we were coming out of the elevator. Yep. And when you went to go get breakfast and one of the ladies from the desk was walking by, I was like, Bucky's, cool people love Bucky's. I was like, what the hell? Yeah. <laughs> It's such a thing. And we people we see people with shirts for Bucky's like back home. Yeah. Like all over the place, you know, and there's no Bucky's back home. Mm-hmm. You no, know, it's like a south and it's extending east kind of thing. I think they're getting them to Georgia and, and Florida, I think I heard. We know Tennessee we saw was building one. Mm-hmm. We went to Dolly World Wood. See, I screw everybody's world That's wood same. and land We've up. We've been to too many places. Yeah, we're hitting up. I'm, <laughs> I'm, we're hitting Mario Wood and yeah. Dolly Land and and whatever. So um, Universal Dolly. But yeah, this. <laughs> so this has been our travel blog. And, <laughs> um, do you want to mention anything about the arcade the other night? Oh, we went to Cyber. Oh, it's like, and I have a prop. <laughs> oh, Cybercade. The, the Cybercade. The Bishop Cybercade. Which is a cider house. Don't open that one. In arcade. arcade. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, but yeah, no, it's, oh, that's, that didn't know. Um, hmm. um, <laughs> but anyway, still, they, they served cider and it was like $10 all you could play. <laughs> Video games, yeah. There was day pass. Yeah. And they had even cheaper passes, like if you came multiple, like if you came, became a member or if you came monthly. Yeah. It was pretty impressive. It was, yeah, they had, and they had Mario Kart Arcade, so we had to play some of that, and they had these fun games, if you look on our, on our, on our uh, Instagrams, uh, the video should be up there, I think, or, or maybe on the Twitter, um, but uh, 
just fun games like ball throwing games <laughs> i don't know how to describe them um one was like a carny game where we were thrown at uh you know, knock the things off the off the shelf kind the of fuzzy, kind thing. of fuzzy things. <laughs> and they're, they're ticket games. They took out the ticket mechanism, obviously. Mm-hmm. They had a ski ball there. You know, I love that they incorporated those kinds of things. They're like, these are the fun ticket games that you would play anyways if you didn't get stupid stuff. So mm-hmm. they, they stuck them in there. How oh, we played basketball. Yeah, <laughs> Just that was fun. a basketball shoot. So um, I don't know. What was the kind of big surprise game? What game did saw? we beat? We beat Ninja Turtles, as you do. Um, <laughs> they had the Ninja Turtles. They had the Simpsons, of course. Uh, you know, I think that's a prerequisite for any cool arcade to have that. Or if you're really cool, a six person X Men cabinet <laughs> with a wide screen on it, which I have not seen since I visited Veronica out in San Diego Ooh. at a barcade in like 16. Uh, so, so, but I know they're out there. They're probably, they're probably crap for maintenance. So, um, so yeah, Cider, um, no, Bishop Cider Cade. Apparently, there's several locations. Our friends that moved up at, again in Zenby um, uh, said they're very aware of it because they're from the Dallas area. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, <clears throat> and we'll have them on the show here in the next uh, couple of weeks. Uh, so excited about that. Maybe we'll have to bring it up when they come up mm-hmm. and be like, so, Cidercade, huh? Um, so, there you go. Um, so, there you go. Uh, I think that's enough for this week because we got to go. Um, what are we doing today? <laughs> <laughs> the stockyards. We're going to stockyards. Go to stockyards, see the Longhorns mm-hmm. as they parade the Longhorns down the street, apparently. Mm-hmm. And, um, and you know, we're out here working. Like, I, <laughs> Jim from Fishing Out Bay was like, Do you guys actually like do do work out there? It's like, Yeah, like, you know, we're showing all the fun stuff we're doing. So it's an opportunity. If you're traveling, if you're traveling for work, if you have the opportunity, I, I, I think that's, you know, like you should take the opportunity to, to see things, experience the things. Mm-hmm. And that's one thing that, you know, we, you know, and, and very thankful to to our clients that uh, uh, give us the opportunity to do that and do some very cool work with them. Because mm-hmm. I mean, the Aero Design event was a lot of fun this weekend. Um, I love, 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 love the Texas crew. Uh, um, I'm sad we're not coming back next year, but we got two other great events we'll be doing in Florida and California. So, um, so that wraps it for Aero Design for this year. Yeah. For us. so Baja is up next. We're going to get dirty in Oshkosh, and uh, and I'm sure I don't know. We're going to discover what the hell Oshkosh, Wisconsin, has to offer here in the next couple of weeks. If you uh, live in Oshkosh, Wisconsin, uh, and have something we need to see. There you go. Uh, K Dutters on the Twitter, K Marie PGH on the Instagrams, uh, Sorgatron everywhere, and we'll see you guys next time. You've been an awesome audience. Have an awesome week. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at Sorgatron.